Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you an unboxing video of two pens that I bought online. So, first I just want to ask you if you like the videos I usually do, please don't forget to subscribe and if you really like to uh, put like in the video in question. Today's video is a very short one, I would say, because it is just an unboxing video. This is Cash Converters, is a store that sells used products here in Portugal. It's also, you see there, PT, but it is also ES, so in Portugal and Spain. And they sell uh, some stuff, they have a website, and they sell it also here in uh, in Portugal. So, I went to the to their website, I saw two pens that interested me, I usually go to the store and check the, the items before I buy it, because sometimes they are not that good, but I couldn't do it, I thought they were cheap enough, so I ordered them and to, don't, to do not pay any shipping, I asked them to deliver into another of their stores that is near me here in Lisbon. This one came from outside Lisbon and I couldn't go there to check it in person. So I spent around 20, not around, I spent 20 euros in these two pens and I'm quite curious to know if this is worth it, but let's see and let's just see it together. So this will really be a surprise, not about what is inside, because I know, two pens, and they are two pens from Parker, but I wonder if the, the condition is good and if I will like them or not. So, here we have it, empty envelope, this should be the invoice, yes, like the receipt, and here we have the two pens wrapped in bubble wrap. So, let's take a look. As far as I saw online, one pen was this one. Okay, and it seems... Sorry, I was out of focus. Let's try to focus this. I think it is in a decent... Please focus this, okay. I think it is in a decent condition, it is a Parker, as I told you, these are two Parker pens. This one is a Parker that I didn't have yet. And this is the Parker 85. It doesn't say anything there, just made in USA. I don't know if you can see it. It has the date code AE. I have to check what this means, which year it means, I'm not sure. This is the Parker 85, I have a Parker 95, which is very similar, it is like the evolution of this one, uh, and I didn't have this in my collection. And I always find nice to have some Parker pens. And here we have it, the section looks fine, a little dirty there, okay, and the nib looks okay, and it has ink inside. Okay, but I think the nib is in good condition. This autofocus is killing me. Okay, it sounds good. I will just unscrew the barrel and see if it has anything. No, no cartridge, no converter, just the pen that is dirty with ink. Maybe it was dipped just to see if it wrote. Okay, so first one I'm quite happy and I think if I spent, there is some also some sticker glue there, so I have to clean this. Uh, and I think th that if I spent the 20 euros just in this pen, I would be happy with that because I don't have this particular pen. Well, now let's check the other and you see here the ink that spilled from the pen. Let's put this away to put in the recycle bin. And now 
I want to show you this pen, but this is a disaster. Let me just clean it a little first. I always have some paper tissue here to clean it. It got stained, but this is stainless steel. It will come off. I just need to clean it with some... spending some time on it. Okay, so sorry, this is the a progress as I'm uh, opening the pen, opening the package. This is also made in USA. The code is key, and I can't read the other one. And it is also a Parker. And this model is the Parker 180. I think I'll have to change this back to manual focus because I'm having some trouble in autofocus. And lots of ink there. People need to learn not to ship inks, uh, pens with ink. So this is the Parker 85, which is an interesting pen with an interesting nib. I have one, but mine has a gold nib and it has this gold... Um, so it is gold colored. This one is not. It has that little piece on top. And this Parker 85, this Parker 180, it means it is a pen that can is made to write like this and also to turn it 180 degrees and write in the other side. And it is supposed to have different line widths in each side but it was really made to be written both ways. And now let's check inside. And there is lots of ink. And I think there is maybe something inside. Yes, okay. This is why there was this kind of an accident. Because someone stuck, this is an interesting thing that some people do, someone stuck a, an international cartridge inside the Parker pen. Of course, it doesn't work because the uh, opening is narrower. Some people try to do this and then these accidents happen. This only takes Parker cartridges. Okay, I'll have to check if this one has one inside also. I couldn't see it, but it may be stuck inside, and I think it is. Look, all this mess. And here you have. Okay. This is really a mess. Um, I don't think I have much more to add today. This is a big mess, but I, I have to say that I'm quite happy with the purchase, not the way the pens came, but with the purchase itself. It doesn't have, they don't have converters. I would prefer they did. However, I have converters for these pens around in my, on, sorry, this is being too, complicated to do. So I, I was saying that I have some converters in there and then I will put them in so no problem I don't really need them to send but I always find nice if they send the original converters. So lots of work to clean them but I think these pens are in really really good shape. I will clean them, I will ink them up someday and then I will make a review because I have to say that I have a little crush for these kind of uh, pens. A fellow YouTuber, Waski Squirrel, says he likes s uh, slim black European pens and I like uh, metal Parker pens. So this fits the, the definition. And I have to say this is all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next video. Bye.